Good morning everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I know you are going to be blessed uh, today. Uh, do you know, a bit later on, uh, Annette and I, we're, we're just going to... It's probably going to be more like a conversation today. Uh, just about uh, both of us just sharing where we feel we're at uh, in regard to church, uh, where we sense uh, God leading us. Um, and so we, we are just going to take just some time and just share our hearts uh, today um, about uh, the way forward uh, for our church. Um, so looking forward uh, to that. Let me read to you this morning. We're reading from Jeremiah 17, yeah. <coughs> verse 7 to 8. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence they are like trees planted along the river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. Isn't wow. that an amazing yeah. verse? Yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, as it says there, uh, blessed are those who trust in the Lord. That's right. Uh, and you know, I, I really believe that as we trust in him, you know, even in these times uh, of uncertainty, uh, even in these times uh, of not being together, it's like a drought um, that, that we just so long to be together. Yeah. To, you know, but uh, we are blessed of God. That's right. Uh, and you know, as it says there, they never stop producing That's fruit. Right. Um, and you know, as we trust in God, Jesus himself, didn't they say, uh, remain in me as I remain in you. That's right. Uh, and we will produce uh, much fruit um, and so I really believe that as Christians that we can uh, and are fruitful yeah. in our life. It talks about the roots going so deep and it's a bit like us isn't it? Our roots need to be deep, deep, deep roots yes. into Jesus, <clears throat> you know, that we know that he is our, the one that satisfies our soul, he's the one that is the, the living water that never runs yeah. dry so there's never a reason for us to be dry because he is a living water yeah. living within us we will never thirst again so yeah. great great scripture great yes, scripture brilliant yeah uh, well before we progress in our service let's pray together thank you and just commit our time uh, to god today yeah yeah cool. thank you under. father thank you Oh, Thank come you, Holy Father. Spirit. Yeah, you are welcome, yes, Holy Spirit. You're so welcome. Father, I pray today come and have your way. that you would bless our time together. I thank you for your word. Thank you, Father. Lord, to us, Father God, that we are blessed. That's right. As we trust in you, that our lives, Lord, are fruitful. That's right. Lord, that we can be fruitful all yeah. the time. And Lord, my prayer today is for those watching that they would just know your comfort That's and your right. peace that they would draw put close, their trust Father, in you and draw close, Amen. Father God. Lord, and as they remain in you, and you in them, their lives will produce much fruit. Thank you, Father. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So let's find out what's happening in church. Yeah. Pre-service prayer on Sunday. Yeah. 10 o'clock. Please come and join us as we spend 10, 15 minutes just praying for the church and for the city. Yes. And, and then 10.30 or service will start on Facebook Live. Yeah. So again, just come and join us on Facebook. That would yeah. be great. <laughs> and then, of course, Thursday night, 7 o'clock to 7.15, come and join us for some prayer and declarations and let's declare the truth of God's word over our lives in yes. our city. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. Next week, uh, we will be starting a new series. Um, for the, the weeks after that. Uh, we're going to be looking at the life of Joseph uh, and I know that you will be blessed by that. Joseph, uh, his life has many lessons for us mm -hmm. um, and I think more so today um, in our need to trust God. Yeah. So that's going to be next Sunday we'll start that new series um, and uh, Wednesday the 26th which is that week uh, our connect groups will resume yeah. so that's just a wee advance notice that the connect groups will resume uh, Wednesday the 26th uh, at 7.30 and again the link for that will be posted on our WhatsApp um, so so looking forward uh, to that yeah. um, so just before we um, just spend uh, some time in worship uh, why don't we just uh, give our, our offerings 
um, to God uh, just want to, to build that time into our service mm -hmm. um, of taking that time to give our offerings to God. So let's do that. to share uh, just really what's on our heart uh, about church, uh, where we are with church, uh, what do we sense uh, God is saying uh, 
uh, to us about church uh, and where, uh, where we think uh, we are headed, uh, where we believe God has taken us. Uh, do you know, as lockdown begins to, to ease, uh, churches are getting back uh, together. Uh, and you may be asking, uh, when are, are we getting back uh, together? Uh, as, uh, as we are uh, seeking uh, God uh, about the way forward for the church, uh, one of the things that we don't want to do uh, is to, to rush back uh, and just get into the routine of programs. Um, and so, you know, we want to uh, be together with you. Uh, we are longing for the day when we can all come together and worship God uh, together. But, you know, we, we have uh, an opportunity uh, before us um, to, to look at uh, church uh, and really to realign ourselves um, to what church or who the church uh, is meant to be. Um, so as we uh, progress today, we're going to give you three headings uh, so as that, and they all begin with R, uh, so as that you can remember um, what we have been saying uh, today. So three things uh, beginning with R. And the first one of those is revisit. We just really sense that during this time, as we've been praying, yeah. that God really asked us to go and revisit some stuff from the past. And we went back to our Vision Sunday and what we shared in February, you know, and we, we came with that to the church, bringing to you what we sense God was saying at that time. Yeah. You know, and at that time, God was, he was inviting us to go on an adventure. Yeah. You remember the adventure where Stephen shared the picture of the, the boat going round the pond, just the same old, same old, but then suddenly this ship breaking out yeah. and getting into the open seas. And we just really felt that this is an invitation by God to stop living our lives in safe, predictable ways and allow the Holy Spirit to come and to guide us by faith into uncharted waters. Yeah. And I believe that that's where we're heading now. We are heading into uncharted waters. You know, some of it will be a bit choppy and some will be really stormy. But little did we know in February that we would enter those waters within six weeks and suddenly we have found ourselves in lockdown yeah. and with COVID-19. Yeah. We said that God was going to take us on. The first thing that he said to us in the vision was about um, a faith adventure, that we were going to go on a faith adventure as a church. God asked us to take greater steps of faith. You know, he even uh, encouraged us to, that we would experiment with new ways of doing things, yeah. doing church, doing meetings, whatever it would be. You know, that God was preparing us as a church, the new wine. It's like we're the new wine, you know, new wine skins, and that God is going to pour out his Holy Spirit into the new wine skins, which would be us as we go on this journey of discovery and of learning, yeah. you know. So we just felt like God, and Stevie spoke about seeing the invisible and doing the impossible, and that was another thing that we felt God challenged the church in. What is it you're looking at in faith? What is it you're looking at and you're thinking, that's impossible? Mm -hmm. But you see, God loves that. He loves when we come with things that are impossible and he will do mm -hmm. the possible in us and through us. Yeah. And the second thing God said to us in the vision Sunday was that we would go on a prayer adventure. And here we are right in this place of prayer that we would need to prioritise prayer. And I, I yeah. believe that since February, we really have been doing that. You know, and God also encouraged us to experiment with prayer. And again, I think we'll share more stuff later on about how we're going to experiment during this time of lockdown and what that will look like for us during yeah. prayer time. You know, but we believe that at this time we are going to enter into a greater measure of spiritual warfare. And as we heard last week about spiritual warfare, we really believe that that was just the beginning of something that we're going to enter yeah. in and to develop spiritual warfare and how what that looks like for our church and how we move into that area. Yeah. yeah. You know, but as ourselves and the elders, you know, we've just been taking this month of August just to pray and fast and really to seek God about the way forward. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We really do need your prayers. We're asking that you would support us and lift us up in prayer and the church up in prayer as well. You know, we need to be a church that are praying in this together. Yeah. Uh, the, the second R uh, this, this morning uh, is recalibration. Yeah. Uh, and I really believe that what the church uh, needs uh, is a recalibration. This was a word 
probably last year that God dropped into my spirit just that word recalibration and these are times when we need to and I certainly think in lockdown uh, this has been a time to to assess and evaluate yeah. uh, what we have been doing as church how we are being church uh, and I, I do think that change is needed do you know we, we can't just rely on our presentations our programs as good as they are at yeah. times uh, I really believe if we just settle into that we will be off course uh, from where God wants to take us and so uh, the benchmark uh, to measure ourselves I believe is the early church in the book of Acts do you know a benchmark is a level or quality used as a standard when comparing other things um, and so we have to as we measure how we are doing as church with the early church yeah. then I really believe that's the benchmark yeah. uh, so so let's read uh, the, about the early church there in the book of Acts Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47 all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals including the Lord's Supper and to prayer a deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together in the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the church there in Acts. Uh, and you know, it says that they were devoted. Yeah. Uh, they devoted themselves. They devoted themselves. You know, they weren't coerced. Uh, they were all in uh, because they wanted to be. Um, and so it was uh, their devotion. Uh, this was a devotion uh, that happened from the inside out. Yeah, you know, it was a heart change as they discovered the power and the love of God in their life. Um, it changed their heart, uh, and they wanted to be in. Uh, they wanted to be part of what God was doing uh, in the church then. That's right. Uh, do you know, Jesus never uh, followed up or chased after people. Do you know, all he said was, follow me. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I really believe uh, that the church needs that recalibration. Um, and we are uh, needing to, to commit our life. It's a life commitment of your life. That's right. It's a life commitment of our lives. So you know, when we give our life to God, um, I wonder, do we actually think uh, that this is going to yeah. be a life right. commitment. In the book of Acts there, uh, it wasn't uh, event-based uh, or program-based mindsets that they had. This was a kingdom of God mindset. Yeah, that's right. And you know, I really believe uh, that we have to, uh, in these days, begin to think about the mindsets that we have uh, and allow the Holy Spirit to challenge that mindset yeah, and to renew right. our mind uh, in these days and months and, and possibly years uh, ahead. Let's not be so eager to rush back, but let's be asking, what is my part? Yeah. What is church? That's right. Who is the church? Well, we are the church. Mm -hmm. People are the church. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we have people out there in our city, in our communities, mm -hmm. who don't know the love of God. That's right. um, and so need to, I believe, encounter Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, and so make disciples, Jesus says, isn't it? Right. Making disciples. Um, and so that is what uh, we want to, to commit to. Uh, we have to be, uh, as the church, uh, building each other up, mm -hmm. uh, maturing, uh, as the Bible says, um, into disciples of Jesus That's who right. are devoted. Um, and so I, I do wonder, and you know, in the book of Acts, uh, it says that and many were added to the church. That's right. Many were added. Uh, do you know, what was it that attracted people to the church? 
Um, I, I really believe, I don't think it was uh, programs no. um, or events, it was the power of God working. But you know, it was also as people saw the devotion of the believers to one another. That's right, yeah. Do you know, where That's they would right. sell their things and help each other. Mm -hmm. They would honor one another. They would love one another. That's right. And you know, this was something that got the attention of those who didn't know, know God. Mm -hmm. I wonder, is the reason that the church is not attracting um, or seeing people added uh, is because that maybe there's nothing that that people as they look at us want. Mm. Do you know, it's, it's not programs that's going to change people's lives. No. It's the power of God. That's right. And you know, I really, just as I read this, um, as you read it, uh, you see they devoted themselves yeah. to God uh, and miracles, signs and wonders yeah, happened. Right. Um, and so it's a presence of God. It's a presence of God. That is what we need to be focused on yeah. uh, as well. And I think just a wee added part to that is that, you know, the presence of God, remember, lives in you. It's not in the church building, although his presence can be here, but his presence and power lives in you. Yeah. And so it's like you can go out and you can do what you're called to do. You can go and disciple somebody. You can go and visit. You can call up somebody to check on them that they're okay. It's about devoting ourselves to one another, looking out for each other, helping each other out, helping people in our neighbourhoods, in our communities. Yeah. You know, it's about doing it. You know, and we don't have to be in a church building to do that. We can do that from our own homes. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, what is uh, the way forward uh, for our church? Two things that are going to be um, probably important as we seek to, to bring the church together mm -hmm. um, is, is prayer, as I said earlier on. Uh, being more creative with prayer, mm -hmm. more fervent, fervent in our prayer in various ways. Do you know, prayer opens up just that highway for That's God's right. presence yeah, to definitely. come. Uh, Jesus said, my house will be called a house of prayer. Yeah. Um, and I, I would love for our church, Dundee Elam Church, to have a reputation as men and women who just seek yeah, after God right. uh, and pray. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, the other thing is small groups. Mm -hmm. I believe in these times that we're in, small groups are, are going to be so key yeah. um, to discipling and building each other up. Um, do you know, we can meet in homes, we can meet in coffee shops, right. uh, we can meet in the park, uh, two or three, four gathering together, uh, just sharing together sharing life yeah. together, sharing God's word uh, together. Um, and when the, the restrictions ease even more, that day will come when we can have a celebration yeah, right. uh, in our building um, as we just come and worship God together. That's we want right. to experiment with small groups. We want to experiment with prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do ask uh, that, that you be praying for us as we seek uh, to do that and to put them in yeah. place. Uh, the third C, or sorry, the third R, <laughs> uh, see, I've forgotten already. Uh, the third R is renew. Yeah. Uh, renew. We need a, a, renew, a renewal of a resolve yeah. um, to, to be involved. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is what we are asking for. Would you renew your resolve um, to just to be praying for us, uh, just to be to be patient with us as we <laughs> seek God? Yes, we, we want back together, um, but let's let's just pray that God will just help us in just being patient um, as we seek uh, a way forward. Uh, we are the church, um, and uh, it's not. As much as we want to keep in contact with you, we want to encourage you, we want to, to build you up, mm -hmm. um, and, and we are looking at ways of doing that. But I want to say as well, um, we are the church. Um, so you know, don't just let it be the leaders who are phoning around people That's or right. encouraging people. Do you know, why don't you pick up the phone? Why don't you send a letter? Yeah. Now, there's a, a novelty. Uh, sending a letter to someone, a card, 
Um, why the, be the church yeah, um, and let's right. encourage one another. Send one of your leaders uh, or our leaders in the church uh, uh, just a, a card or a text just saying we're praying for That's you, right. we want to encourage you because uh, leaders need encouraged mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, as well. Uh, we are excited. That's right. We're excited about the way forward. Um, we, we don't have uh, all the answers. Uh, as much as we wish we did have all the answers, we wish that we were the fountain of all knowledge, but we aren't. Um, and so that is why we so need to be uh, coming to God in prayer and That's seeking right. him, to seeking him yeah. for a way forward. Yeah. I think it's having that picture again of the ship that we spoke about at the beginning when we went into the first one, the first hour was renew. Um, we had to see the ship and on a, on a, you look at a pirate ship with the big sails, you know, everybody's got a job to do and that's church. We all have a job to do, you know, and it's up to you to go and experiment, go and try new things, go and do something you've never done before. But it's about us working together as a body, you know, and, and helping out and doing the work and being committed, you know, praying for the church, coming to the prayer times, going to small groups and supporting them. There is so much that people can get involved in and there is a place and a job for every single person. Nobody needs to be left out or felt left out. You know, if you feel like that, then maybe you should think, well, who can I go and visit? Who yeah. can I help? So it's about us working together, you know, all of us, including me and Stephen and, and the elders, all on the ship together. And it's about work. Yeah, it's about working together and loving our community and loving each other. Yeah. Yeah, so so we are the church. They That's devoted right. themselves. Yeah. They devoted themselves. Uh, and so we are just going to, just to close in, in prayer. Yeah. Um, and so let's just, just wait on the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Uh, we hope you have captured something of our heart um, about we are seeking a yeah. way forward. Um, and so we are going to pray. I'm going to pray God's blessing on you. I'm going to ask you to stand uh, where you are. If it's your kitchen, your living room, uh, if you're in a park, then get up off that bench. <laughs> Um, whatever it is, but I'm going to ask if you would, where you are, and if you've got people who are watching with you, uh, to, to stand together. Come on, yes. let's stand up. Thank you, Father. Let's stand up where we are, uh, and let Annette and I just pray yeah, God's you, blessing Father. over you um, as we uh, seek a, a way forward. Yeah, uh, and you know, as you stand, stand, that's your way of saying, Stephen, Annette, and the leaders at Dundee, yeah. we are in. Right. We are part of this family and we are standing Amen. with you. Thank you, Lord. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, come on, let's stand up. Thank you, Father. Yeah, thank Father, you, we Lord, thank you. Increase your presence. Lord, for your church. Mm-hmm. Lord, we do thank pray you, that Jesus. you would forgive us just for, Lord, the times when we have just relied on programs and That's events. Right. As good as our programs are, but Lord, it's all about your presence. Yes. Father, you, it's your Father. presence that changes lives. That's right. Lord, and in these, Lord, Thank uncharted you, waters, Lord, these troubled waters that we are in as we, Lord, are on that adventure, we ask that you would guide us, that you would lead us, that you would give us wisdom. Thank you, Father. For a way forward for the church. Lord, as we yes. seek to recalibrate, Lord, church to the... the the, the book of Acts mm-hmm. and the early church where they saw people added to the church, where they Thank saw you, signs Father. and wonders. Lord, we Let ask you, that Father. you would help us recalibrate. Yes, Lord. Lord, our lives as disciples, as people devoted to you, Thank you and to one another. Lord, we ask that that would just come by your Holy Spirit. That's right. As people stand all over, Lord, this city in their houses. Yes, touch their hearts. Lord, I ask that you would fill them with yes. your Holy Spirit. Lord, the resolve that they are making in their That's heart. That's right. That they are renewing their commitment. That's right. That you, they Father. are, Lord, as Annette says, all hands on deck. That's right. Lord, as we sail these uncharted waters. Father, Father, I thank you that every person yeah. 
is important to you, Father. Yes. No matter what we feel like, Father, no matter what we think, we are important to you and each one of us is made in your image, Father. Yes. And you have called each one of us here and now for such a time as this, Father. And I pray that, Lord, that we will stand up and we will declare that, Father, that you are good and in your goodness you have placed your goodness within us, Father. And that, Lord, mm. that we would be resolved to be committed to one another, Father, that we would serve one another, Father, that we'd look out for one another, that we would honour and bless one another. Father, help us to see the good in each other. Yeah. Lord, I pray that you'll just encourage people this morning. Yeah. Lord, you would touch them right now, Father. For those that are feeling still a bit low, Father, I just ask you would fill them up yeah. with such a passion for you, Father, that, Lord, that they would just run after you, they would pursue you, Father. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honour because you are a good father. Mm -hmm. And we just trust you with our future, Father, and with all that is going on with the church, Father. And we just say, Lord, give us eyes to see and ears to hear what you are saying to your church at this time. We ask these things in the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, we want to just thank you for joining us uh, this morning. And, you know, uh, for people who... Uh, are not normally part of Dundee Elam Church who have been uh, tuning in uh, and joining us online. Uh, we want you to be part of this adventure as well. Yeah. Uh, and so I encourage you, why don't you email us at dundee.elam uh, at gmail.com and, and just let us know that you are in, that you want to be part of this adventure. Right. Yeah. Um, and we will keep you in prayer. Uh, so uh, we are going to be in holiday this week. Uh, so pray for us that we get some rest, uh, that we are refreshed, um, and we just pray that you will have a fantastic yeah. week. Uh, and remember, you are blessed, blessed to, to be, be a, a blessing. blessing.